Have you ever watched one of those cooking shows and they make it look so easy when they say, here, make some English muffins, poof, it's done, right? Well, I was watching a guy on the Living Well Network, Ryan Scott, and he made English muffins and made it look easy. And the great thing was he made them in a skillet. Cast iron, of course. Now, here's the thing. I'm not much of a baker. In fact, the only thing I can really do is cook meat. So I thought it looked so easy, I'd give it a try. Basically, here's what you need. Six cups of all-purpose flour, a cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter ounce of active yeast, two tablespoons, a lot of twos here, two tablespoons of shortening, and a tablespoon of salt, and one cup of hot water. Here's the deal. He made it look so easy, I had to try it. So that's what we're in my kitchen. It doesn't look as great as most uh, TV kitchens, but we're in my kitchen and we're gonna give it a try. Here we go. Scott's directions were quite explicit. Warm the milk in a small saucepan until it bubbles. Our, our milk is ready. It's kind of kind of frothing up there a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Um, that's when you add your sugar and you're just gonna let it dissolve. And while that's happening, take the yeast and put it in a small bowl with the warm water until it does its thing. It'll look creamy. It'll take about 10 minutes. Now in our next step, we wanna melt our butter and our margarine for about 30 seconds till it's all complete because that's gonna have to go into the mixture as well. We're getting to the moment of truth where we gotta start adding things. This is a big deal for me. Remember, we had six cups of all-purpose flour. You need to take half of it, that's three cups, and put it in a good mixing bowl. Go ahead and add your milk, your yeast, your butter, and your shortening. Get it all mixed in real good until, as he calls it, smooth. Oh wow, you can hear, you, what's re really cool for me is you can hear the yeast working, it's starting to bubble sound. Okay, now remember, I told you I'm not a baker and so I don't really have a lot of things. Now what you gotta do is you add your salt and take your smooth mixture, it does look pretty smooth to me. I figured that out as I saw lumps were leaving it and it looks kinda smooth. Take that and add it to the rest of your flour. Now here's what's important for you to know about me. Because I don't have a huge mixing bowl, we are dealing with six cups of flour, I'm going to use a Dutch oven because it's the biggest thing I have and I think that's what I'm going to have to use to get all of that together. Now what's amazing, it's starting to look like dough. It's, it's, it, it's really starting to look real. This kneading stuff is really kind of hard. Now the directions say put it into a ball, which kind of looks like one to me, and put it in a grease bowl and cover it for a half hour. Okay, the directions say we're supposed to take it out of the bowl. It's the big unveiling. Has it gotten bigger? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, the directions basically say I need to take it out, punch it down, and roll it out. Here we go. Now the next step is just to take a glass because I don't have a cookie cutter. So this is what we're going to use here and let's see how it works, all right? Now that we have our English muffins cut out, it's time to lay them out. Get out some wax paper and sprinkle some cornmeal on top of it. I use Jiffy Mix, it works just fine. And then when you get them laid out, sprinkle some Jiffy Mix on top as well. Then you're gonna cover them and let them sit for 30 minutes so they can rise again. Now that we have them on the grill, not in the oven, you can, by the way, you can also use a cast iron skillet if you choose. I'm using the flat skillet. We've got them here. They're gonna be cooking for 10 minutes on medium heat. And then when that's done, we're gonna flip them. So it's a hurry up and wait game. They're done. After an hour of total rising time and probably about 20 minutes of prep work, getting it mixed up and kneaded and, all, and cutting them out, in 20 minutes on the griddle, it's done. So you're talking about maybe a total of two hours. But I have 16 English muffins and oh my goodness, I made them. Now we're gonna see if they're any good. 
After about two hours, voila, it's done. It looks pretty good to me. It tastes even better. The kids like it. I did have fun, even though I look a little stressed in the face, but I suggest you try it. I'll do something else again. I'm gonna go back to the recipe book and look for something that tastes good. Good luck, guys.